Good afternoon everyone, it's Matthew from Kimber's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making leek and potato soup. I do quite a lot of cycling and one of the main energies required for cycling is carbohydrates. Um, I struggle to eat a lot before a big ride. If you don't eat enough you end up running out of energy and struggling to finish your ride. So one of the things I find really easy to eat before is soup quite easy to just drink it, as long as it's not a thick chunky soup. So I decided to start looking into my recipes, what could I add to it that would add protein, it would add um, carbohydrates, a bit of everything really. Um, and what came to mind? Potatoes! So I thought, right, let's make his own soup, because everything on the commercial market is too much salt, too much sugar. So all you need for this is six medium sized potatoes and around half the amount of leeks so today we're going six potatoes and three leeks now remember chaps it's not all about how long they are we need a decent amount of girth on these as well so that when you chop them up they don't shrink you keep a good size and then um, it blends up nicely so let's make a start so the ingredients for this recipe like I've just mentioned the leeks, the potatoes, two pints of hot water, that's cold at the moment but for safety but we'll boil it afterwards, split green peas, soya beans, great for the vegetarians, get your protein in with no meat, soya flakes, and cardamom seeds for flavour. Also adding in afterwards, good grinding of salt and pepper for seasoning. So to start with, I'm going to take all the skin off the potatoes. Then we're just going to chop these potatoes up into small cubes so they'll boil quite quickly. When you come to do the leeks, one thing that I was once taught is soil and dirt can get down the inside leaves. So what we do, we chop the ends off the three pieces. Slip down slightly to open the leeks up. And then as you open them, you run cold water down the leaves, as you can see there, a little bit of dirt. That'll wash all the dirt or soil or any creepy crawlies out. Then we're going to just discard any slight the hard leaves off the outside, just cut, trim them off. And then from the bottom, we're just going to work it up into centimetre strips. And add it into the pan with the potatoes. And we're going to add in the cardamom seeds, the soy flakes, green split peas and the side beans. Now some people like the soup saltier than others so I don't like to season mine when I cook it. So I like to add the hot water and then go straight in from there. So I mentioned at the start of the video to use roughly two pints of water. Now I didn't think at the time, depends how big your pan is. So what we're wanting to do is take a couple of OXO cubes for flavour I'm using just plain vegetable ones here and just sprinkle over the top into the pan and then we're going to add the hot water 
mixing up all the oxo cubes until the hot water is covering the veg. As you can see, I've done a kettle full of water and it's not quite full, so I'm just gonna have to add some more. So I've added my extra water, it's full up to the top now. I'm just gonna give this a stir to mix it all up so all the soy beans are in with the mixture and the oxo cubes dissolve properly. We're gonna put this on a hot heat, bring it to the boil, and then once it starts to boil, we're gonna simmer it until the potatoes have gone soft. So I've cooked the soup for a good hour. What I like to do when I've finished is separate the liquid from the vegetables. So we're just gonna run it through a colander. Bring out all the liquid, because sometimes if you blend it all up together, it can end up too runny. So what I like to do is blend the vegetables up and slowly add in the water. So most of that's drained off now, so just put the veg back in the pan. And then we're going to run this through a blender. Once you're happy with the consistency, what I like to do is just pour that back into your a large mixing bowl to keep it separate. And then you can go ahead and do your next batch into the blender, adding the liquid again to get the consistency. Once you've got all your soup back in your bowl, just give it all a stir to make sure you've mixed it all together. Now, some people like the soup thicker than others. I like mine to be quite thick when I'm eating it, so I'm going to leave mine like this. If you wanted to, you could just add some more hot water and keep stirring it down until you get it to the consistency you want to get it to. It's at this point that you'd add your salt and pepper to taste for each individual person so that you flavour it from there rather than doing it from the start because each person obviously likes it different. I'm going to post the nutritional values on the comments after the video. Um, what I'd like to say is it's very high calorie dense is this soup and full of carbohydrates and protein. It's mainly based for someone doing a lot of exercise or sport or going walking etc. As you can see it's made six decent portions as this so you might want to change your ingredients up or slide it down but it gives you an example of how much you're going to get out of this recipe. So what I'm going to do in the comments is I'll put a breakdown of how much of each thing's in it and what it provides so you've got a rough idea. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and keep an eye out for new videos coming. Thanks, bye.